there, wonderful people. Thank you so very much for sharing your time with me. I truly appreciate the love and support that's shown here. And I greatly apologize for not being consistent with content as I would like to have been. But I'm here to tell you that I am going to do just that from this point forward. I want to be honest with you. I recently processed another narcissist, a very covert narcissist. I want you to be aware that these people will hide among you. They will disguise themselves as someone like you. But if you pay close attention, if you give yourself enough time to follow through and follow the trails that your instincts leading you to, leading you on, because your instinct in that gut feeling that you get that something's not right will lead you to the answer. Well, trust yourself. Trust it. Trust the process. It doesn't matter how you feel. The enemy packages these people in very nice packages sometimes. And, um, you know, you can be led astray if you are moving about with your physical eyes. But if you look through a spiritual lens, you will find them out quickly. You will figure them out quickly. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied. So please stay awake and stay aware. These people will not stop. They are coming for the light. And that leads me into the title of this message. And you guys, I'm just going to be straight up. I'm declaring a war. I declare a war against the serpent, a.k.a. the narcissist. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hearing the stories of people falling apart, um, them just tearing people to shreds, wreaking havoc wherever they go. I'm not dealing with it any longer, and I don't want you to deal with it. Again, the enemy can package these people in beautiful packages or these creatures. Some of them are really good looking and it's hard to resist them. Some of them have great charm and charisma and you can be fooled if you're looking through your physical eyes. But if you look through your spiritual eyes, your spiritual lens, you will figure them out. No doubt about it. I'm going to share today's message from scripture, from the Bible. If this doesn't apply to you, then just listen to the next video. But for those of you who are here for a serious message and you want to be empowered and you want to know what's going on, I advise you to listen to the very end. I'm going to go through Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, where we talk about the armor of God. I'm going to start with 10, and I'm just going to go through these scriptures and tell you what's in my heart and how this applies to what we struggle with today. Starting at Ephesians 6, 10, finally... Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Let's talk about what the devil's schemes looks like when we're dealing with narcissistic abuse. It looks like manipulation, triangulation, gaslighting, smearing, silent treatment, ghosting, trauma bonds, the list goes on. They scheme. These are the schemes of the evil narcissistic serpent. Stay awake. Stay aware. Let's continue reading. 
6.12, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You guys, this is not a physical battle that we're faced with. Therefore, we cannot expect to fight with physical weapons and win. No, it's not going to work like that. We can only win if we fight with spiritual tools. So what are spiritual tools? Spiritual tools look like meditation, prayer, patience, peace, love, kindness, self-love, self-compassion. You must equip yourself with sturdy and or solid weapons. If you have self-defeat, you might as well go ahead and say that you lose. You're not going to win the war. If you have self-love, if you pray, if you seek peace, then you should know that the battle has already been won. Let's keep going. 613. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. Let me read that one to you one more time. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. Dealing with the narcissist is an ongoing battle against evil. And when you are improperly dressed, I'm saying without the full armor, then you won't stand a chance against these demons. None. You don't have everything on that you need. They mean you no good. They will extend you no mercy. So it's important that you dress appropriately. That you put on the full armor, leaving nothing out. And when you do that, then you stand firm. Here's what you must put on to defeat the narcissistic serpent. I'm continuing in verse 14. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. The belt of truth. Tell your story. Don't stop sharing your truth. Your truth not only sets you free, but it sets others free around you. There is absolute power in telling your truth. Next, the breastplate of righteousness. What does that mean? It means you need to clean up your temple. That's your body, your spirit. If you have old wounds and triggers that cause you to act out or feel defeated, work on those things. You cannot leave an opening for the evil serpent to come in. Do the work. The serpent is a spineless reptile and he or she can squeeze into the smallest opening. And then you're screaming, man down. Because all it takes is a little, a little space for them to get in and then they take you out. 
Do the work. And then your breastplate will be in place to protect your heart and your light from evil. Moving on now to verse 15. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Find your peace, even if you have to cut everyone off for a moment. Find your peace. Peace keeps you from feeling bothered by evil. It's the calm inside of the storm. Having peace is like being in the eye of the storm. You know how they say in the middle, it's real calm in the eye of the storm, the eye of the hurricane. Because you know, narcs are out there cutting up all around you. They're wreaking havoc everywhere, at work, in the neighborhood, in your family, every single place you go. But you're steadfast in peace and you're unmovable. Therefore, you're unbothered because you have fitted your feet with the gospel of peace. Verse 16, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. So you must have faith, faith first or dressing up for war will be futile. Without faith, all of your hard work will be dead. And eventually, the flaming arrows will penetrate your peace, as the narc has done before. The arrows will penetrate the breastplate of righteousness, all because, although you're dressed to kill, you don't believe you're strong enough, you don't have faith. Faith will make you or the lack of faith will break you. Faith is the thread holding your entire outfit, your entire covering together. When you have faith, it doesn't matter what the serpent throws at you. You will stand firm. The serpent can't take you out. You're not phased by them. You're not phased by their words. The smear campaigns are irrelevant to you. Fly monkeys are powerless with faith. With faith, you win. You become a force to be reckoned with. So reading right along on 17, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Helmet of salvation. You are only saved from the evil when you're awake and aware. The helmet protects your mind. It is the ultimate acceptance of who you are. And the sword is God's word that reminds you of who you are. Just in case you forget that this battle is not physical, it's spiritual. And God's word tells you exactly how you'll win and that you are the winner. It's written. So in verse 18, it tells us, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Stay awake, stay aware, put on the full armor of God. And you will always defeat the enemy. Always. 
The serpent loses and he or she knows it. That's why they fight so hard to try and convince you to hand over your light, to buy into their illusion. Don't fall for it. Get dressed. It's time for war, super empath. And as I said at the beginning, do not be mistaken. I declare a war against the evil serpent. Please fight the good fight with me and put on your full armor. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I pray that this message is encouraging for you and that it equips you, empowers you with the tools that you need to continue to move forward. You are not weak. You are not docile. You are strong. You are stronger than the narcissist. You need to know that. They know it. You need to know it. Wake up. Rise up. You're not some little weak person. Use the power that you have been given. Trust yourself. Fight against evil. Thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate you. Love you. Have a wonderful week. God bless you.